Good evening and welcome back once again. So we're back at home today to Alaves. We had a massive 7-0 win in the last match against Tenerife. We've absolutely destroyed them. Let's hope we can keep that uh, run continuing. So again, we're having to mix things up a bit just because for some tired legs. Post's going to go in goal, bringing Caulfield at left back. Rice is coming in defensive midfield. Bajer we're going to put in place of Vieira because he's on a downward orange. Going to bring Castledean on the left and keep Xerxes and Perez on up top and out wide right luckily we've got a week's gap after this game so everyone should be able to have a bit of a rest and um, get some good form back here we are back at home after a 7-0 win I don't think it's a game Alavez really want. Or maybe they're thinking, you know, we could be the team that uh, actually beat them or got something out of the game compared to the other teams. That's offside. I knew it was. Yeah. See, I couldn't see where he was exactly, but I assumed it. But yeah, quite a few changes today just for tired bodies. Nice idea and nearly came off. Yeah, we did. Just about. Actually, a chance for a counter attack. And here's Herrera now. That's got to be a that's got to be a foul. Can absolutely shirt pulled pieces there. Sexy. Ah, straight at the keeper. Right idea though. Oh, what a pass and finish that was. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but Bajer and Perez just have some great chemistry. I don't know what it is. But they always just seem to find each other. The one twos. Back again. With that first touch, and then it's falling over, and he still managed to finish it. But that pass in there just gets ahead of the defender. It's just on side. Yeah, they've got a great partnership. As has Xerxes and. Perez. Perez again. Look at the defenders in there. Oh, that just goes in between two players. Bit unlucky there. Perez again. Oh, good defending. Thought that was going to be certain to be in the, the top left. Um, we'll have Castledean taken and being a left foot. I do like to do the in swingers. Oh. 
Well, all magic's doing up there. Quick finish, but uh, wide. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Nearly through to Bajer there. Absolutely fired in. Still 1 0 somehow. Not quite sure how. I think Alves will be almost pleasantly surprised at only being 1 0 after uh, watching the last match where we were 5 0 up at half time. Can't quite keep the ball as well as we normally do. That was a poor pass. Well, Everyone's fallen over. Oh, and that was unlucky. Very unlucky. Winter back, though. What is going on? Just kept in. Herrera blocked. They're getting away with it a little bit, I think. They're getting some of the run of the ball as well. The 50 50s, deflections. And that again, that was going through to Zerks, and it just hit him on the back. And that's going to be half time. 1 0. Should it be more, though? 59% possession, not bad, but um, losing the ball quite a bit, passes going astray, not very clinical in attack, we need to do better than that. Uh, the flick was the right idea, but not uh, pulled off very well. There's massive acres of space here. That's a shocking pass by them. They should have been in there. Nice play. Really nice. Ugh, deflected. Nice effort from Herrera, but um, wasn't really troubling the keeper. Straight at him. Not really anyone in the way to, to block his line of sight or anything. I was going to say, it looked like he uh, got the player, not the ball. And he did. Ooh, do we have a cheeky shot here? Why not? Straight to the keeper off the wall. Because I don't get free kicks in... I mean, that wasn't really a chance there, but I don't really get that many free kicks in attacking areas. When I do get them, I haven't had a lot of practice. Um, and I haven't really got any brilliant free kick takers either. So, that's a bad challenge. Gotta be a yellow. Bajer. Oh, wide. Great play. 
we're gonna have a look to see if we can make some subs i think uh, most of the bodies on the bench are tired as well so we'll have to wait and see so we brought on carson for carlos perez and we've also brought hitch on for Bajer and we've mixed the midfield up a little bit just to move things around but as you can see we're just getting desperate in terms of we just need to take some of the tired bodies off we have got another week between this game and the next one so should be back to normal you know the likes of Carson really shouldn't be playing he is going in the summer but needs must in these sort of situations and when I say Carson should be playing it's just because I mean you could say the same about Rice and Hitch who are going now but um, I suppose ideally what we'd want to do is maybe bring up a couple of youth players and not play the players that were sold because if we improve them it's not doing us any favours but the youngsters will benefit benefit, God, I can't speak, benefit us long term trouble is with the youngsters they're going to be poorly really cheeky finish there Rice well wide yeah the problem is if we get some youth players in now they're going to be pretty low rated it's not really worth it I wouldn't think We'll get another influx of youth players in the summer. And some of those, if not all of them, will be regens. So it'll be interesting to see who we get and whether we'll want to go down that route. I mean, if you play long term, you have to go down the regen route because eventually, obviously, everyone gets old and retires. So I think I'm going to be sensible with the regens. I'm not just going to go out and buy, you know, every time... A Messi or Ronaldo or you know one of the stars that retires and then gets regenerated I'm not just going to go out and buy them because it's overpowered offside it's the post anyway now I do know that uh, oh, what's his name he actually plays for Malaga at the moment in real life um, begins with a C. I can't remember, but I think he's like he's about thirty-nine or forty years old, and he's still playing. And um, funny enough, actually plays for Malaga. Oof, good effort by Carlson. But on previous games, I used to buy him because every time he retired, he was like. I wouldn't say he's an outstanding player normally, but when you get him as a youth player, there's something about him that's really good, and I like playing with him. Uh, that's, that sounds bad. Play... <laughs> um, you know what I mean. Oh, nice corner. Oh, I should have scored there. Xerxes. Oh, that was a perfect corner for once. Rice... Again, they always bloody block it from 20, 25 yards out somehow. I'll try and think of his name. I just can't remember it now. That player. Anyway, my point is that there might be certain players that I'll go for regens that are not the obvious ones, maybe. You know, the Messies, the Buffons. Um, I may change my mind, though. Sexy now. Lovely ball back. Herrera. Herrera again. It's going to really annoy me about what that player's name is now. Um... Is it double bar it's like a double barreled name, I think. I can't remember. Here's Herrera. Dip in shot but straight at the keeper. keep thinking of Costolo but I know it's not he's like one of the original Pez default players from back in the day so I know it's not him um, but that just keeps popping in my mind but anyway I mean I don't even know if he will be available in the first uh... oh what a goal that was 
Wow. I am shocked. As you can probably tell, they have not deserved that in the slightest, but we gave the ball away and look up, they got four players there against three. Well, not even three, really. Really bad place to lose it there, Arcas. Or was it Hedge? Good finish. Well, that's turn up for the books. Sixty though. What was that? Just so slow there. I don't know what happened. He just wouldn't react. It's a really odd. I tell you what, we're gonna go for the winner, but uh, gotta be careful. Don't let in another. And there it is, full time at home and a 1 1 draw. I don't think we've dropped points for a very long time. I can't even remember the last time we've, we did that. Yeah, I mean, look at the stats. Possession, again, that doesn't matter too much. But shots and shots on target, we were wayward with our shots today. They had one chance and scored, and that's all that matters. You know, they get a point. I think they would have snatched your hand off before the game if they could have come away with a point. Man of the match, Carlos Perez, I would agree. I think he was pretty good. But um, we just weren't firing today. And we're just looking at the stats for the month. It was quite a short April in terms of games. Only four. But you can see some massive results there. 5-0, 3-1, 7-0. And then a disappointing 1-1 draw against Alaves. But as I thought, Carlos Perez, top with the goals alongside Zirkzee. Vieira, Xerxes and Perez, that goes with pretty much what I was thinking. I didn't realise Vieira would be right up there in, in ratings. I mean, he's always a good player, but I thought it would have been Xerxes and Carlos Perez in the top two. Uh, Bajer with three assists as well. Yeah, great stuff from only the four games. So just as an aside, because it was really doing my head in when I was trying to think of that player that I mentioned, it's Ruben Castro. So I knew I had a C in there. But he's the player that um, I used to quite consistently buy. He would, he would come up as a regen. And you can see, even on a, as a full player, he's not a regen. He's not a high ring. He's 72. But I really liked him. I don't know if he's going to be the same in this game as a regen, if he's going to be any good. I'm pretty certain that he will retire at the end of the season. He may, if we're lucky, he may come up in our youth squad. If not, he may come up elsewhere and you'd have to sign him. But I'm going to check that out in the summer see who comes in the youth who we don't want to do just completely regens at all we might put the odd one or two in there they still start fairly low stats and we can build them up but we may have to do that because our transfer budget isn't massive but once again thank you very much for joining leave a like if you enjoyed the video please do drop a comment down below i do like to interact with you guys and think about subscribing if you want to keep up to date with the channel but other than that i'll see you next time Cheers.